here are 10 things about EAFC24 that you need to know. For those who don't know, my name's Kim Pembro. I was lucky enough to be invited to the EAFC24 virtual showcase. These are the 10 things that I think you need to know. The last few about Ultimate Team are pretty interesting, so make sure you stay around and watch those. Number one, so when will FC24 be released? Well, two versions are going to be released. There's going to be a standard edition and an ultimate edition. I'll tell you what you get in the ultimate edition in just a second. The standard edition comes out on the 29th of September, 2023. That's gonna cost 79.99, or if you're on PC, 69.99. Now the ultimate edition, that comes out seven days earlier. That's going to cost £99.99, Woof, a pretty penny. The PC is gonna come in at 89.99. So the ultimate edition is seven days earlier than the standard edition. But for the Ultimate Edition, you get a few extra benefits. So with the Ultimate Edition, you will get seven days early access, meaning you get it on September 22nd. You get 4,600 FC points. Yeah, there used to be FIFA points, and now FC points. You get a UEFA Champions League hero, providing you pre-order by August 22nd. You get access to the Nike Ultimate Team campaign. Not really too sure what that is right now. You get a Nike Ultimate Team Campaign loan item. You get yourself a Nike X EA Sports FC Ultimate Team Kit. And you get yourself a Team of the Week 1 Ultimate Team Player. Not too bad, but it's a lot of money. Number two, will FC24 have hypermotion technology? Yes, but not last year's hypermotion technology. This is a new and improved hypermotion technology called Hypermotion V. This year with Hypermotion V, they can take animation simply from video, meaning should something occur at the weekend, they could take an animation from a video that occurred and put it in the game. So, high promotion technology upgraded this year. Number three, is Accelerate still in the game? Yes. Last year we had Accelerate 1.0, this year we get an Accelerate 2.0. The last year with Accelerate 1.0, there were three Accelerate types, lengthy, controlled, explosive. This year with Accelerate 2.0, there's seven. We have lengthy, mostly lengthy, controlled lengthy, controlled, controlled explosive, mostly explosive, and explosive. So we do still have Accelerate in the game. Now we have more granularity with seven different Accelerate types for more accuracy. Number four, play styles. What are play styles? Play styles are brand new to FC24. So EA have partnered with Opta. Opta will provide EA with statistics and analysis on players to dictate what type of play style a player should be allocated. EA have allocated 34 different play styles. These are split into five categories. There will be passing play style, shooting, defending, ball control, and goalkeeping. Now, I know it sounds slightly confusing, but stay with me here. For play styles, there is three play styles a player could have. No play style, Playstyle and Playstyle Plus. No playstyle is essentially generic in game animation. If a player doesn't have the dead ball playstyle, when taking a free kick, the curve arc is pretty small. Then, if they have the dead ball playstyle, the curve arc is a bit longer. And the dead ball plus, it's much longer, so you can really see where that ball trajectory is going to go. As I said, there's a lot of information to be had here, but just know playstyles are going to change the way the game is played massively. As I said, there's 34, so there's gonna be lots of different variety in how each player feels depending on their playstyle. But stay tuned because I will make sure you get a video dedicated to playstyles, all of the playstyles and how they impact the players. Number five, precision passing. What is precision passing? Precision passing is a brand new mechanic coming to FC24. Essentially, it's manual passing. There are three different types of precision passes. There is precision pass, precision lob, and swerve precision pass. So when a player initiates a precision pass, a reticle will appear on the floor. So not only now do you control the power, you control the exact direction of where you want the ball to go. Precision pass, is a through ball on the floor. Precision lob is a lob through ball and precision swerve pass is a through ball on the floor with a bit of swaz. So 
Come into FC24, precision passes. Number six, skill moves. Will we be getting any new skill moves in FC24? Yes, we will be getting four new skill moves. These were showcased in the gameplay trailer the other day. As you can see on screen, here are the four new skill moves. Skill move number one is called the skill rainbow. Skill move number two is called the flare nutmeg. Skill move number three is called the bull roll drag. And skill move number four is called the drag back turn. These will be five and four star skill moves and I look forward to performing them on the pitch. Number seven, will FC24 be using the Frostbite engine? Yes, that is an enhanced version from the previous years. Essentially, you're gonna get improved visuals on players, clothing, lighting, lots of good stuff. Number eight, will there be a new menu system in FC24? Yes, there will. Gone are the days of the blocky menus. We now have a nice, sleek, up and down menu system from the main menus to the in-game menus as you're used to going from up and down it's intuitive as well so in the main menu it remembers your favorites and that sort of stuff prioritizes them at the top and inside things like ultimate team you can set up some shortcuts to make navigation much easier i've seen it i've used it love it number nine ultimate team the bit that i know a lot you've been waiting for in this section we're going to cover off the brand new feature called evolutions and the small changes that have happened with the chemistry system. Let's go. Evolutions. So what is Evolutions? Evolutions is a brand new feature coming to Ultimate Team in FC24. Before we get started, let me just say, Evolutions themselves require a dedicated video. This is just a brief overview of what we've seen and what you can expect. The way in which it works is, there'll be predefined criteria for you to be able to select the player and put them through into what is called an evolution pad what happens is then is you will select a silver striker from the bundesliga and complete objectives in order to upgrade them level one could be something like play five games with this player score five goals with this player and that will be level one complete once you have completed that level you will then receive permanent upgrades for example plus five shooting plus five dribbling plus one weak foot plus three overall it's not like you take a player and they go 67, 68, 69, 70. It's more of a, a jump once you complete each level. Now, once you've completed each level, for instance, level one and level two, that will be all that's available. So at that point, your player has hit its evolution peak, it's completed, but that doesn't mean that is it. Once you've completed it and he has fully evolved, next season, there is a chance you can then take that evolved player and evolve him some more which makes sense because you don't you don't really want to be able to take a silver player and make him 99 within two weeks there is going to be multiple different types of criteria from what i can tell so for instance a silver striker from the bundesliga is one you know there's likely to be a bronze defender from the premier league for example are there evolution odds evolution pads one of the two so that's how it works. Under the evolution kind of tab, there are two things. There are the predefined, there's team of the week, and there's what if. Come to that in just a sec. So at this point, there is a cost associated with it, which I don't know if it's gonna stay that way. For example, you could take a 86 Jude Bellingham, team of the week, pay, I think it was 10K, that's likely change, a 10k, complete the objectives, and turn that 86 Jude Bellingham into an 87. Crazy. So it's not just silver players. And finally, I know there's a lot of information here. And finally though, what I saw was there was a what if evolution. Now, what does that mean? As you can imagine, you can take, for instance, Gold Van Dyke, put him into a what if evolution, and change him from a centre back, 90 rated centre back, to a 91 CDM. I honestly, I was amazed when I saw it. I cannot wait. I know that's a lot of information. Apologies, I tried to summarise it, but I'm excited. The feature looks incredible, and I cannot wait to get evolving players. So that is evolutions as quick as I could possibly do it. As I said, there will be some small chemistry changes coming to FC24. The first one being position modifiers are being removed. Thank goodness. What that means is 
any player who's got a primary and an alternate position will get chemistry as soon as you move them in. So for instance, if you have a striker who has a striker and a left wing, you can just pop him in striker or you can pop him in left wing. It will automatically change. No position modifiers needed. And that means draft is gonna be significantly better as well. The second change is icon chemistry. Now this year, icon chemistry, it's not particularly good. It gives only two notches to the nation. That is it. The big change coming in FC24 is icons will now give a plus one notch to any league that is represented in that squad. So if you have a Serie A, a Premier League, a League One player in that squad, simply by putting an icon in, you will then get a plus one to all of them. The icons will finally become extremely more usable and the powerhouses that they deserve to be. They're the two small changes that I know about chemistry at the moment. I'm really looking forward to seeing them. I'm looking forward to jumping into draft. And finally, number 10, women in ultimate team. How is this gonna work? Women are coming to ultimate team and what that means is you can now have men and women in the same squad. That means you can have Sam Kerr and Kylian Mbappe, same team. Women and men will all be in packs. So you can pack women and men from the same pack. Chemistry is the same. So men and women get exactly the same type of chemistry as they would now. The big difference is, is that you will get a bonus chemistry, for example, if a woman and a man plays for the same club. Because obviously they can't play for the same team, they play for the same club. So for instance, Nkunku and Kerr both play for Chelsea, they will give each other the plus one. They obviously don't get the league because they are different leagues, different nations. But club chemistry for men and women, that's how it works. And it's important to note, women's ratings will be based on the competition they play in, in the real world. Okay, just remember. So yes, we've got women coming to Ultimate Team and I can't wait. I'm looking forward to seeing what type of squads we can build. I've got a feeling we're going to see some really good squads being built. You know, that Mbappe Kerr strike force, you don't want to come up against it. So they were the 10 things about EAFC 24 you lot needed to know. These all come from the FC24 showcase. Bear in mind, there is still plenty of time for things to change, so nothing is final. Now, if you enjoyed the content, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We will be producing regular EAFC24 news. Finger will be on the pulse. It will be out quick. It will be accurate. That's what you like. Hit the subscribe. See you later.